Good day, make believers. I am Boone, and welcome back to day three of Ghostbusters week here on Toy Replay. As you can see in this video, we are looking at the Ecto-1 and the Ecto-1, both from the classic Ghostbusters film and the new 2016 Ghostbusters film. In this video, I am going to both review and compare both of these Lego sets. We're going to start by taking a closer look at the boxes, then we will take a look at the minifigures, and we'll finish this video by doing a little bit of an in-depth comparison on the two cars. So looking just at the boxes here, the LEGO set based on the original Ghostbusters Ecto-1 was released in 2014, and it was the sixth model under the LEGO Ideas project. It was recommended for ages 10 and up, and had 508 pieces. The LEGO set based on the 2016 Ghostbusters Ecto-1 was released just this month, July of 2016. It is recommended for ages 8 to 14, has 556 pieces, and was just released as a general release LEGO set in many common retailers. The box for the 2016 set is a little bit taller than the box for the 2014 set. Both boxes show the included minifigures on the top of the box. Of course, both have the LEGO logo at the top left, and each has its respective Ghostbusters text logo. I do find it interesting that the 2014 model doesn't seem to have a set name. It says it's number six in LEGO Ideas, and the set number is 21108. However, there is not a name of the set on the box. For the 2016 model, we have set number 75828, but the set does have a name, Ecto-1 and 2. The backside of both boxes show pictures of the cars from various angles, and both include pictures of the vehicle with the top removed and the minifigures inside. The back of the 2016 box has a picture of all of the minifigure accessories. The box from 2016 says lego.com, while the box from 2014 says lego.com slash ideas. So here's just a quick look at the Ghostbusters minifigures that came with the 2014 set and the 2016 set. We have Peter, Ray, Winston, Egon from the 2014 set. And we have Patty, Abby, Jillian, Aaron, and Kevin from the 2016 set. 2014 set came with this little buildable stand to put the minifigures on. 2016 did not. I just threw together a little stand to put these guys on. Both sets come with four buildable proton packs that represent the proton packs for those respective movies. The 2016 set also comes with a winged ghost figure called Mayhem, bringing the total minifigure count for this set to six, whereas 2014 had four total minifigures. Finally, the 2016 set comes with Ecto-2, a motorcycle. Finally, we'll do a little comparison of the two vehicles from these Ghostbusters sets. The 2014 set is intended to represent a 1959 Cadillac hearse ambulance combo, and the 2016 model is intended to represent a 1983 Cadillac Landau hearse. Both vehicles are approximately the same length, and both use the same No Ghost logo printed sloped brick on the side of the car. The 2014 version has a quantity of four of that printed piece, while the 2016 version only has two. However, the 2016 version does have similar Lego pieces with stripes printed all the way down the side of the vehicle. So now I'll talk just a little bit about the differences between these two vehicles. First off, I think that the 2016 model does a little bit better job just emulating the overall look of a 1983 Cadillac than the 2014 does of emulating the look of a 1959 Cadillac. However, that may be just due to the fact that in 83, the Cadillac was much more boxy with sharp edges, and the 1959 had a lot of rounded edges, and this is just an easier look to achieve with Lego in the minifigure scale. All that said, I think at first glance, the 2016 model better represents the car that it's intended to look like. One huge difference between these two vehicles can be seen when removing the top. The 2016 version has seats for all four of the Ghostbusters from the 2016 movie, while the 2014 version doesn't have seats per se, 
I think you probably could squeeze three or four Ghostbusters in here, but they wouldn't all be securely fastened on studs. So I think that's another feature that causes the 2016 model to edge out the 2014 model just a little bit. On the other hand, while I have the roofs removed, I am reminded of a building technique used in the 2014 model that I've never seen before and uh, that really gave me joy to build where these windows are achieved by using the bricks sideways here clipped into these clips inside achieving that slightly angled window that runs all the way down the side of the car. There weren't really any building techniques in the 2016 model that made me go like, ooh, that's cool. Um, it was fun to build, don't get me wrong, but I didn't recognize any particularly innovative building techniques. Both roof racks are highly detailed for this scale of Lego model, and in my opinion, they both fairly accurately represent the items that are on the roof racks in those cars in the films. One thing that I do really like about the 2016 model is that there is actually a rack that you put on the roof of the car and all of the objects on the roof rack click to the roof rack. Whereas in 2014, the roof rack is comprised more or less of items that are sort of built up to look like they represent items on a roof rack. Whereas you can't really look at a piece and kind of identify exactly where the roof rack itself is. That's fine, it looks good, um, but I was pleased to actually kind of add a rack to this car and then add all the components to the rack. Here's a look at the two vehicles side by side from the front, and here's a view of the vehicles side by side from the back. Here's a view of both vehicles from the driver's side profile and from the passenger side profile. So those are all the major differences between these two LEGO sets. I don't have a favorite. I think I like the 59 Cadillac Ecto better than the 83 Cadillac Ecto. I think it will continue to be the more beloved of the vehicles among Ghostbusters fans. But I think the 2016 model does have some features that will make it a little more fun to play with than the 2014 model. I'm also a little bit biased because in 2014 when I built this model, Jordy was three and was nowhere near being able to help me with this kind of Lego model. And now Jordy's five and she was able to help me all the way through the build of this model. I'm actually going to post a time lapse of Jordy and I building this model on my Patreon page. You can find that in the cards up here. I'd love to hear what you guys think about these models in the comments section below. Please like and subscribe wherever you find those buttons around here. If you missed Monday and Tuesday of Ghostbusters week here on Toy Replay, you can also see those videos in the cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Play on, make believers. It's 7-11-2016. I've already got my Slurpee, and we've got nothing but Ghostbusters toys on this episode of The Weekly Toy Box. <laughs>